Hey everyone, this is Brandy. I recently posted this image to Facebook a few days ago, about a week ago, I guess. And um, it turned out to be pretty popular. I personally didn't think it was, you know, all that great or whatever. Um, I'm experimenting in my new editing style and such for my photography business. And everybody seemed to like it, and I'm very happy about that. But many people were asking exactly how I edited this image. So I'm going to show you guys the before image. So this is the before image. Uh, already made adjustments to the white balance and the exposure. And then this is the after image. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this edit. Um, I do suggest that you guys have basic exper experience in like Photoshop. So it'll be good to know what a layer mask is, uh, what a blank layer is, and you know, all those little basic things that comes in handy when editing. So if you don't know what those things are, don't be scared. You can still watch this video. Um, I'll be practically showing you guys everything step by step, so anyone should be able to follow along. Um, I'm going to try my best to explain what the different tools are. However, I won't be able to cover like absolutely everything what every single tool does exactly. But uh, still free, free, feel free to watch the video and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate layer by clicking Control J on my keyboard. And what that did is, you know, copy the background layer. And now I'm going to go on and add my... Mm, Let's do selective coloring. So I'm going to click right here and to click uh, selective color. And I'm going to go over, oh, I'm already in my yellows. If you're not in your yellows, just click this drop down and select yellow. So I'm going to take this to about negative 79. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take my magenta up to 45. My yellows, I'm going to take to negative 8, and my black, I'll take to about 20. Now, I want you guys to remember that your settings aren't going to be exactly the same as mine, because our images are different, and the coloring on yours might come out differently than the coloring on mine. So it's all about your personal taste and stuff. Just play around with the sliders, and you'll get great results. Okay, next I'm going to add my sun flare right here. So I have a separate tutorial on how to do sun flares. You can check that out or you can watch this, it doesn't matter. But um, I'm going to grab a blank layer, click B on my keyboard for my brush tool. And now I'm going to double click my foreground color. And I'm going to get a dark orange over here. Make it a tad bit darker. It's like a burnt orange. Click OK. And now I'm going to use my right bracket tool to expand my brush. I'm just going to click. I'm going to do the same thing. Double click my foreground. Make the orange lighter. Shrink my brush. Click. And one more time. Make the color lighter. Click OK, shrink the brush, click. Very easy. I'm going to change my blending mode to a uh, screen. I'm going to grab my move tool right here. I'm going to drag this up to where I please. I personally want it right here where the trees are, like right in the middle of the trees. And I'm going to expand it by pulling the corner down. And I'll place it back. Expand, place it back. And that's about good for me. Now I'm going to take my opacity down to about mm, 85. And there we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a sky overlay. So let me go on and open my overlay. And 
I'm going to grab this one right here. It's very, very pretty. So I'm going to place mine right over here where I placed my sun flare. I'm going to put the sun right there in between the trees. Click my check mark. And I'm going to go and change the blending mode to multiply. There it is. I'm going to take my opacity down to about, let's see, 56%. And I'm going to create a layer mask by clicking this rectangle with the circle in the middle. Select B for your brush. Have an opacity of 100% and make sure that you have a soft brush selected with the hardness of 0%. And I'm just going to start brushing off. And that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to my sun flare. I'm going to click and drag it up above. There we go. And that kind of covers any of the imperfections that I had um, with that overlay. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go back down here to my layer mask and just fill in the little holes that I have on my tree. And something I did fail to do uh, when I did my selective coloring to change the greenery to the fallish colors is I forgot to brush it off of the kids. So I'm going to go back down here to my layer mask where it says selective color. I'm going to click X for my black brush. Make sure you click B for your brush. I'm going to put my opacity at 100%. And make sure that your hardness is at zero. And I'm going to go in. And start brushing off of their skin. And that looks great to me. And we'll get before, after and it looks like I've got it all off of their skin. So that's good. I'm gonna go back to my sun flare and I'm going to move it a bit. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a blank layer. I'm gonna make an adjustments layer and click solid color. And I wanna grab like a magenta, a pretty dark purple like magenta. I'm go right here. And it's going to be very, very close to black. But it's still going to have a hint of the purple in it. Click OK. I'm going to set this to screen. Now I'm going to click my layer mask and invert. Click B on my keyboard for my brush. I'm going to lower the brush opacity to about 85 and make sure you have a white soft brush selected. Now I'm going to expand my brush with my right bracket key and take the edge of my brush and just go around the edges. Take the opacity of that down. That's about good. I'm also going to up the opacity on the brush and just kind of, I'm going to paint it onto the trees just to add extra color. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make a blank layer. I'm going to click solid color. And this time, instead of magenta, I'm going to grab a dark brown. 
I'm going to call this fair hat. Click OK. Click your layer mask and Control I to invert it. And we're going to do the same exact thing. And lower my opacity a bit. And take the corner of the brush and then sweep it around. And stop it right there and lower the opacity. I'm going to change this to soft light. There we go. I'm going to take it down to about 25. Sweep that around there. And now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to click down here where it says selective color. I'm going to drag it to the very top, and that looks much, much better. Now I'm going to lower the opacity down. Now I'm going to select each layer while clicking Control. I'm going to select all of my adjustments layers, but not layer 1 or the background layer. I'm going to let go of the control key and drag them all down to this folder. I'm going to click on layer one and I'm going to apply a warm filter. So it's at 25. I'm going to lower it down just a tad, about 75. Might go back and change it later on, but that's where it's going to stay for now. And I'm going to click layer one and apply a lens blur. So I'm going to click Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And my settings are already where I want them. So my radius is at 29, my blade is at 0, rotation is at 0, my brightness is at 0, and my threshold is at 255. My noise amount is at 0. So that, that blurs the entire image. So that's not what I want. I just want to blur the background just a tad bit. So I'm going to make a layer mask by clicking here. And I'm going to click Control i to invert it. And I'm going to grab a white soft brush at about 65%. And I'm just going to start painting the blur back on. guys are ever blurring the background, I want you guys to know that when you get closer to your subject to go up here and to lower your opacity down even more. That way that the edges of your subject can stay pretty sharp. Uh, it just helps to avoid getting too much of a blur onto them. I'm pretty sure there's so many other easier ways to blur your background, but I'm going to end up lowering my opacity and it's not going to be that huge of a difference. I'm just doing this to get so rid of some of the, uh, the noise in my photo and to make it a little bit more creamy. So like over here on his hair, I can tell that I got a little bit of blur on it. So I'm going to click X for my black brush. I'm going to take my opacity up to about close to 50% and I'm just going to erase it. Looks really nice. And now I'm going to lower my opacity down. About 23%, close to 25. I'm going to click my curves. And I'm just going to bring the middle down slightly. There we go. I'm going to select a soft black brush at about, let's see, 50% opacity. I'm going to expand my brush until it's just around the boys. I'm going to click. 
it one more time. There we go. And it lightens them up a bit, but yet yeah, darkens the background. Now I'm going to apply a radial gradient by clicking gradient. I'm going to grab a, I'm going to double click right here, double click this tab, and grab a very, very light beige type color. Click OK, OK. Actually change this to radial. I'm going to drag it up to their faces. Click OK. And I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And I'm going to take this down to about 13%. Let me put it on 13. Now I'm going to go up here to my brightness and contrast. And I'm going to up my contrast a bit. 15 and I'm going to select exposure and this is a way to actually add a small matter of fact effect to your images I'm gonna just up it not too much let's see 0 0.0 I'm gonna go 1 1 1 1 I'm just gonna lower that I'm going to do the same thing and press click control on my keyboard and select each of these and place it in a folder. Now I'm going to go back up here and blur my sky. So I'm going to click my sky right here where it says harmony. And I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And it's set to 10.0. And that's about it. So yeah, um, it's really not that hard once you get to know Photoshop and learn more about, you know, blank layers and painting the different colors on and all that kind of stuff. It becomes so much easier. Um, all you have to do is get in an experiment. Remember that no two images are going to be alike. Um, so your image might come out slightly different than mine. Uh, which is a great thing that means you're you know coming up with your own photography style and editing style which makes you unique so here is the before image and there's the after before after so yeah if you guys like this video and have any questions or anything like that please comment below in the comments box uh, feel free to like and subscribe that would be great and also, um, I have a group called Affordable and Free Photography Resources. It's where you can, you know, uh, share any knowledge that you have about photography or photo editing, and you can share links to free, you know, uh, overlays and things like that. We have many people in the group, over a thousand actually, and um, I personally share, try my best to share freebies daily, so like free actions and stuff. So yeah, uh, if you're on Facebook, look up affordable and free photography resources under groups and join us. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.